Hey guys, this is Gavin Smith. Um, doing a commentary on Arthur's Ruinous Rescue. I can't be we will go. I who the dare you can't be we will go. Are we there yet, Mr. Radburn? It's not far now. <sighs> Are we there yet? It's not far now. A problem with that? Now, Arthur, be nice to your sister. You know that with your parents out of town, you couldn't have come on this trip unless she came too. That would have been fine with me. All right, class. Don't forget that one reason we're taking this class camping trip is to view the wildlife. Everyone gets a notebook, and whoever sees the most mammals will earn a special certificate. Now, hmm, just a moment. Does anyone know where the trail map is? <gasps> Let's see if there's anything I could use it. Oh, hey, Mr. Redford, I found the map. Excellent, Arthur. I knew we'd find it eventually. I do. We find it eventually, also. Let's go. Okay, class. Let's go. I wonder what else we'll see. Probably um birds. I can't wait to get to the campground. Well, class, here we are. Now, we'll just whoops. Ow. Mr. Ratburn, are you all right? Hmm. I seem to have twisted my ankle. <gasps> I'm afraid I won't be able to walk on it. Mr. Redburn's hurt. Uh-oh. The implications are frightening. I'll be fine. I just need to rest my ankle for a little while. Arthur, would you pitch my tent so I'll have somewhere to lie down? Pitch a tent? I've never pitched a tent before. Look at all these parts. How do they go together? Click on a piece of the tent to pick it up. Click it again to put it down. Fit the parts of the tent together just like the one in the picture. Use the colors to help you match the pieces together. Looks more like a jungle gym. Now for the cover. Unless you have the cover on, of course. There. All done. Finish, Mr. Ratburn. I pitched the thank you, Arthur. Don't worry, Mr. Ratburn. I'll take care of you. I know lots of first aid. Oh. Ow! Whoops, sorry. Be careful with my ankle, DW. Please. You guys, Mr. Ratburn can't walk. He's in his tent with DW right now. What are we going to do? Well, at least we've got some food. Bad news. I just went to look for a snack and our food bag's been stolen. 
dragged away. Bears! Oh, great! Now our food is gone, too! We're going to have to think of some way to get out of here without Mr. Ratburn. Does anyone have any ideas? I brought my two-way radio. I'll just call for help. Oh no, it's broken. Now what he should have fixed it or charged it up before he got, before he got here. It's something my dad told me about. We could climb to a really high place and then use a mirror and sunlight to flash a signal in Morse code. That's a neat idea, Pinky. What do you think, Brain? Yes, that's an option. Or, with the right parts, I could fix my radio. Then we could use it to call for help. Another great idea! I have a suggestion, Arthur. Why don't you go fly a kite? Let's Bring go fly a kite. Up Try to, to be helpful. The highest Actually, that's a pretty good idea. We could use a kite to signal for help. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that would work. Well, it seems to me that we've heard three workable solutions. Francine's kite, Binky's signal mirror, and my radio. Whose idea do you think we should pursue? Well, we're we're not going to do the signal mirror because ZB eight six uh, eight nine six two are already in LP on that. Nice gesture, Pinky. All right. So I think either the kite or the rail. How about we fix a rail? Great, a radio it is. But do you have all the parts you need? Well, almost. I have a lot of parts from a pocket hydrometer project I was working on, but I still need a small battery-operated device, a magnet, some small springs, some wires, and a metal dish. Great! Now, let's go look for these things. Why is Buster's mouth pink? The sooner we can get out of here. Oh, and speaking of pink mouths, I have a funny story to tell you. Um, back in kindergarten, I was doing this, um, project, um, with, um, like, making giant paper mache sharks, and, um, and we were trying to, um, um, and we were trying to make out the color of a real shark's mouth, um, it was kind of hard to tell of what color we were supposed to use for that, so we, um, so we looked at a picture of a toy shark instead, and we, and, and it's, um, and the toy shark's mouth was pink, so we covered his mouth, colored his mouth pink. That's, that's a, um, I see, that was a pretty funny memory. Hey, an electric toothbrush. I bet the brain could use that for his radio. Buffy, can I borrow that electric toothbrush? Okay, on one condition. You have to put my test together for me first. There it is. Call me when you're done. I don't have a phone. Well, I do, but I don't have it with me. Buster! Pitch Muffy's tent? Here we go again. It looks like it's up to me and Arthur. Look at all these parts. How do they go together? Click on a piece of the tent to pick it up. Click it again to put it down. Fit the parts of the tent together just like the one in the picture. It's funny the way your backpack sparkles every time you put something in. I'm running out of time. I better stop here. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.